welcome back. Um, feels like a long time since I've done a bait video. Um, probably like a month maybe. But with this whole coronavirus thing going around, I'm going to be practicing my social distancing inside. And I'm going to be making a bait order. Um, I've already made one of these bait orders, but I need another one. Um, I've gotten a bunch of new colors, and I've gotten some pearl powder, so we're going to be messing around with those, and we're going to make an order. So, um, it's going to be interesting. Let's get started. <laughs> so, I just said I ordered um, a bunch of new stuff, so I got black colorant, um, grape colorant, watermelon green, and um, red. These are new glitters I got um, first from testing out lure work, so I got blue. Um, they accidentally sent me .62 square, so I emailed them, and then they um, sent me my .25. Also, when they sent me that back, they sent me um, orange glitter, black glitter, which is string glitter, which will be interesting. Some more pearl powder and some very tiny red glitter. So we'll probably mess around with that a little bit. Um, purple glitter and tinier red. And then I got pearl powder. For this order, I said we got, um, I already have it written down. I need a pack of pearl swim baits, a pack of star true swim baits, um, June bug red Sankos, which I'm horrible at making the color June bug, but we're going to try it again. Um, green pumpkin Sankos, June bug red ribbon tails, and green pumpkin ribbon tails. So, first we got to heat up some plastic. So I already got like, um, remelts from this from last time. So I'm just going to heat up um, half cups of plastic. And yes, I am in my PJs. It is 8.30 at night. So, this uh, five gallon bucket is an absolute pain to get plastic out of um, because you have to mix it and I don't have an automatic mixer. But it is uh, way cheaper than buying five different gallons of plastic. Um, five different gallons of plastic is I think $150 and this is a hundred and shipping on these is not cheap. It's like I think this gallon was $20 to ship and so you just gotta buy them in big quantities. So um, if you know what blend you like, I would get a five gallon. It does take a couple minutes of mixing, so I got just a kitchen spoon, and you just have to mix forever. So I'm going to turn this off, but I would mix for a good two or three minutes. So we're going to be mixing up green pumpkin now. Once your plastic is a little runny like this. So I do have remelts, but you gotta mix up the color first. So we're gonna be using MF Dark Watermelon and this new watermelon green color. And then I'm gonna put some black glitter in there. So with these colors, a lot of people do measurements, but I can only I only like doing measurements on like solid colors like black. So for this I kind of just um, figure it out. So I add a lot of colorant. And then I see what it looks like. That actually doesn't look too bad. So I'm going to add watermelon brown. I rarely use this color. Probably should have never got it in the first place. but. I got it, so I gotta use it. Okay, so I added a lot of colorant to this, um, just kind of experimenting. So it might be a little too dark, but we're gonna see how this turns out. Lure works, glitter.
probably a really dark version of green pumpkin. But I think that looks fine. So, so for this we need um, Senkos and ribbon tails. So I got those two molds out. And we're going to see how this color came out. I thought it was a little too dark, but we'll see. Okay, we got the first baits. These are the um, Senko and the Ribbon Tail Green Pumpkin. So here are the um, Ribbon Tails. The ribbon tails look good. Um, see um, how the tails see through, but the body's not. I actually kind of like that. So I'm going to keep those the same. You can't really lighten a Senko because of how dark it is, so I think I'm going to just leave them alone and start working on the next set. Okay, now we're going to do our second round of green pumpkin. My injector is getting really hot, so we may have to do a second round of these. Like, really hot. So, Okay, so I'm just going to start running through these. Um, probably be down here for about like another 30 minutes. It's already 9 o'clock. So there it is, second round of green pumpkin. Here we go, second round of ribbon tails. Now we need um, one more round of green pumpkin. Now, time for the next color. Um, What do I want to make next? Um, I guess we're going to go ahead and do the June bug colorant. So, just before I make this, I'm just going to say I am awful at June bug. I just can't figure it out. So, we got pretty much every color. We got grape, um, blue, and indigo. Indigo is pretty much the same thing as blue. Um, but we're going to try and add some grape first. MF gave me the wrong size cap, so I can't even use that cap. And then we'll put some blue in um, after. But we got our plastic. So I'm just going to pour some um, grape in here and we'll see how this goes. That totally makes a mess, but it's very purple. It is pretty. I don't want to add too much color to this because that's what I did last time. So we're just going to add a little bit of blue. I don't know why I'm filming it on this side because I use my left hand. We're going to go with it for the first part and then we can change something if we want to. Emerald green 0.35 and the 2.5. We're going to see how this turns out. 
so we're gonna go in full scoop and then probably a half a scoop of red and we'll see how that turns out I also do think it is good to add your own spin on color sometimes, something that the fish have never seen before. Because I know this isn't a perfect Junebug red, but it's my own red color. But it's my own Junebug red, so yeah. Now we're going to put in the remote and put it in the microwave. Okay. We got the next set of baits ready. Okay, so next color, we're gonna do the June mug. I'm absolutely getting this everywhere because it's overfilled, but whatever. Okay, got two molds open. I don't know why this Senko mold gets so hot, but it's always super hot to touch. So you can't make too many baits on it at a time. But I think, um, these look way better than they did the last time. They're still not June bug, but it's my own. Um, it's still not June bug, but it's my own little twist on a color, so I guess that's fine. Now we gotta open our second one. There we go. Okay, so second set of June bug. Now I'm just gonna run through these things and ribbon tails um, really fast because I still have to make a chartreuse color. I don't know if that's going to turn out good or not. But we're going to turn to remelt now and we'll see how that comes out. Okay. Get these second rounds. Yeah, those didn't work out. I figured those wouldn't because I didn't have enough plastic yet, so we're gonna have to do those again. I might I might buy another cheap injector off Amazon because the one I have now is only 30 bucks and is actually holding up pretty good. Um Yeah, so these turned out fine. I just got to remake the worms. This is what we got so far. We got some June bug. Um, I still need um, I still need a few more of those. I still need a few more of those. I still need more of all of these. Um, I do bags of six for the worms. I do bags of ten for the Sankos as of now. And then I do bags of ten for the swim baits. Um, so I got a mess going on right here. So I'm going to do the rest of these 
Senkos and ribbon tails off camera and then I'll be back once we switch to the swim baits. And now for the third color we're going to be doing the pearl. So we got our pearl white powder and we're going to make some pearl swim baits. So we got our pearl white. We're going to do pretty much a full scoop. And then we're going to mix it in. Now we're going to switch gears and do some pearl white. We're going to be opening up the Opening up the swim baits. This is a do it mold, so they're not as shiny as my um, other molds, but here are the pearl white. Um, pearl white's probably the favorite color I've done so far. They just look really good. And you can use them as swim bait trailers or just fish them regularly. And they're super easy to make, so. Okay, so finally, we're working on our last color. Um, there's a lot of moisture in this, because I just washed the cup out. But, once you mix up a color and put it in the microwave, uh, they all should clear out. So, we got just some fluorescent chartreuse colorant. Um, I love this color and I feel like it's like the perfect tail color. Um, for these uh, dip tails. That's mainly what I use it for, but they want some charger swim baits, so that's what we're making. Way too light. So this is all we have so far. We finished the green pumpkin, finished the June bug, finished the pearl. I had a lot of pearl left over and then we are only working on our chartreuse now. Totally, completely did not spill that everywhere. Trying to get this up here more, and my camera is about to die, so we're gonna do this really fast. I'm gonna start packaging and do the rest of those off camera. So, my camera is about to die, so I'm gonna do this really fast. So, what I have here are the brand labels. Um, the Sam Outdoors Lures with my YouTube and Instagram account. And then I have plain labels that I write what the bait and what color it is on. And then as of now, we put them in sandwich bags. Um, I'm going to get lure bags soon. They're just so confusing. I want to get like a custom um, decal on it. But I have to find out where to get those and stuff. So we're about to package these really fast. Okay, so on these white papers, I'm going to write down what everything is. Then you're going to get your bag, take your label, yes I know my handwriting is awful. Put it on the top back and then flip it over and then put the brand decal.
Then we're going to fill the bag and then fill it with scent. What I like to do is I like to blow into the bag and kind of open it up a little bit. And then add a few drops. This is where your hands smell awful is during this part. So I always alternate. This is why like, bluer bags will be a lot easier so I can actually line my baits up. And then I completely take all the air out of that bag. And then I seal it off. And that is how you make my baits. Pearl swim baits on the back, lure on the front. Um, yeah, so that's the video. Um, I'm gonna finish I'm gonna finish packaging all this and then doing those over there. And then, yeah. So I'll see you in the next video.